Yo guys, how's it going? For this video, let's talk about how to cast your Android screen to your PC. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so in order to do this, we're going to be using a Chrome Web App called AllCast Receiver. It's available free within the Chrome Web Store. Now before you launch this app, what you want to do is go to your Windows Firewall settings to open up port 53515. So copy this just so you can use it later. Then go to your Windows Firewall settings. Okay, inside of Windows Firewall, what we want to do is add a new inbound rule. Now I already added the all cast rules, but what you want to do is go over here to inbound rules, right click and select new rule. Select the port, keep it on TCP, paste in the port number 53515, select next, allow this connection. Then you can select on any domain that you want it. I'm going to do on all three, but of course you're probably on a private network, so I recommend they keep it private. Security wise, you might not want to make it public. Select next and give it a name and select finish. Then what you want to do is go back and do the same thing, this time UDP and again the same port and keep everything else the same. Once you have all that, you should see at the top the two new all cast connections for port 53515, UDP, and TCP. Once you have that set up, you can go back and launch the app. Next, download the app Mirror Beta, available free within the Google Play Store. Once you open it up, it should detect your computer with Chrome running the AllCast receiver. Click it to connect. Make sure your phone and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. And if all goes well, your screen should be casted to your PC. So as far as overall latency, it's actually not that bad. I'm able to watch videos without any problem. The sound doesn't travel to computer, just a video, but still, the speaker's loud enough on the phone they can still hear it. Now, as far as gaming, it's sort of the same story. With most games, you'll be able to play it just fine and see it on a computer without much latency and much lag. However, some advanced games or some very complex games like Shadowgun, there is a moment of lag that'll make it a little bit hard to play competitively. One annoying thing is that if you maximize the window, it doesn't go full screen, just a small square. Not a huge deal, but hopefully something that can be fixed. So guys, there you have it. That is how you can cast your Android screen to your PC. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to head over to Twitter and follow me at DaveBen. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.